Today we're going to learn how to visualize any attribute with text numbers in Blender 4.1 with geometry nodes. This is a new thing of Blender 0.1. So let's go to geometry nodes. Let me close this, close this panel, and let's create a new profile. I'm going to delete this cube and let's create a grid. So let's go into here. Let's make it bigger. And now we have three by three vertex. But I want to see the index, the number of all the vertex. I want to know, for example, which number is this one, which number is this one. So how we can know that? To do that, we need to select the node and press Ctrl, Alt, left click. And we have the viewer node. So thanks to viewer node, we can see these numbers. However, we have to tell what we want to see. So here I want to see the index. So I have to connect the index node. Now we cannot see because we need another step. Which step? We have to go here and click this new feature that is in Blender 4.1. If you click here, now we can see some text. If you don't want to see the color black or white, you have to go here and decrease this or just click here. And now we can see the real index of all the points we have in this grid. So with this information, we can do a lot of things. Let me hide, for example, this, this to see it better. For example, if we add more vertices, you can see now all the numbers of these vertices. It starts here, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and it continues. And maybe you're thinking, OK, but why is this useful? For example, if we convert this, if you want to switch off this, just click here. If you want to convert this to instance on points, we can add instance on points. Let's add, for example, UV spheres. And for example, you are working like that. You don't have this. And you are thinking, I want to move only this one. Or I want to make it bigger or whatever you want. But I don't know which number is. So if you connect this, now you know that it's the 24. So what I can do, for example, if I want to move the 24, is go here, add set position. And in selection, add index. And you have to add a mat node in compare. Here. So this allows you to select only one value of the index. Here you have to put 24. Now we are working only with this. However, we didn't do any change. But for example, if I want to make it higher, up, I click here, and now I'm just working with this one. Because thanks to this, I know it's the 24, so I'm selecting the 24 index. If I want this one, I can change it. For example, the 25. Actually, if you want to work easier, just add integer. So we can change which instance we want to work and do something. This is just an example to see how useful it is to see the index attribute or whatever you want to work. But there's other things. For example, let's bring a cube and let's connect it here. If you don't see the cube, it's because you have this activated. So just switch off and you will see your object. And if you switch on this and you don't see it, remember, it's because you have to connect it to geometry. Remember, when this is selected in auto and we have index, we are going to see always the index of the vertices of our object. If you want to see better the numbers, just click wireframe. By the way, if you want to increase the text, I don't know how to do it. I think there is not option. If someone knows how to do it, tell it to me. If not, maybe in a future version, they are going to add an option to increase this text. For now, I think it's not possible. OK, maybe you are thinking, but what if I want to see the number of the faces? Then just go here and select face. So now we can see all the index of the faces. For example, this is the first one, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, zero, etc. So for example, if I want to delete this one, the number two, what I can do is to add here 
the late geometry, and in selection, I have to select the number 2. So we can do the same like before. We add index because we need to work with index, and we have to add a math node in compare. And here select the number 2. And now you cannot see anything because we have this activated and we are only seeing this output. Remember, this is really important. Where you have the viewer node connected, you are only seeing the change of this step. If you want to see the change of this, just connect it here. Just connect this and connect it in this output. So now we can see the change of this delay geometry. Okay, why this is not working? First, we need to select face, and now it's working perfectly. We delayed the top face. Remember, it's the number two, and now you're thinking, but this is the number two. Yes, but this is the number two after we deleted this face, so now this has another number. But if we connect this output, you can see this is the number two. But after this change, we deleted this face. So this is another example how to use viewer node to see, for example, the index of the faces and do something to this face that you want to select and apply some change. For example, deleting this one. Also, if you want, you can see, for example, the number of the eight. First one, the second. So here you have different options to work with. Let's see another example. Now let's work with a curve line. Let's connect it here. Let's disconnect this. And let me add minus 1, 1, and 0. Now I want to see the factor. Remember, the factor always is from 0 to 1, the beginning and the end of a curve line. So to see the factor, we need to connect this first. So let's connect it. And here we have 0, 1. So this is the beginning. This is the end. However, this is the number of vertices. If we resample this, resample, and to see the change, because now we have 10 cuts, remember, you have to connect this output. And now you can see all the points of this curve. So we can change here, and you will see how this updates. If you want to see the factor and not the number of the cuts, the points, then you have to change this. Let's delete this and use a spline parameter using factor because factor goes from 0 to 1 so here if I just add one point no actually two we can see that goes from 0 to 1 but if we add more cuts then this point will be 0 0.5 so you get another idea how to use for example a curve to see the factor and later understand when you want to animate something. If you want to learn more about spline parameter, I have a full tutorial explaining other examples how to play with this node. And remember, if you want to see the colors, 0 is black and 1 is white, just go back here and activate this. So now we can see that when it's close to 0, it's black, when it's close to 1, it's white. I hope you find all these examples really useful to understand better how geometry works and later how to apply different selections and do different change animations whatever you want to do if you want to learn more about this i recommend you to subscribe give a like and see you in the next video